Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. Today we are going to cut our third clutch, um, which was, let's see here, my Stern Lesser Female to my GHI Mojave Cinnamon. Um, and as you can see, we have one Blue Eye Lucy baby there. Um, these two pipped as well. I didn't see this one up, but it looks white. This one of them smelled kind of funky when I opened the lid up, so this might, this one might actually be bad. Um, this is the only one that didn't pip yet. Um, now it's kind of funny because these are almost a, like a week early. It's the 14th today when I'm recording this, and they're due maybe on the 21st, so they're quite a few days early, almost a week, um, but they look okay, so um, let's, uh, let's dive in, let's start cutting them. All right, so when you're cutting eggs, you need a couple things. You need something to cut them with. In this case, I bought these just tiny little scissors that I got off of Amazon, stainless steel, surgical scissors, and a couple paper towels um, because they do get pretty gooey as you're cutting them open. Um, let me try to get these centered for you. Um, this little guy or girl has his head popping out, so we'll do them last. This one looks like it's probably bad. Um, the end of it is all discolored and funky looking. Um, hopefully, whoever's in there is okay, but I'm thinking it's not. Um, this was one of the few clutches where I didn't actually have to take the eggs apart. Um, because there's only five and they were all right side up when I did the candling. Um, but let me take them apart now so I can get these babies out of here. Um, so this first one was the first one to pip. Um, let's see. I was already, I cut it the other day just to see if it was, let me cut it a little more. Ooh, it is gooey, gooey, gooey. Gooey, gooey, gooey. I'm thinking this one is looking like, oh man, I can't pick these scissors up. A, um, a pewter, maybe a pewter lesser. Let's see. That's what my guess would be on this one, just from looking at it. Obviously, past, pastel cinnamon is pewter. Um, I'm thinking that's probably a lesser pattern in there, too. Beautiful snake. It almost looks kind of silvery. Really reduced pattern. Snake looks fantastic. Beautiful blue eyes. Let's get him put away. Oof, man, that egg is gooey, gooey, gooey. All right, so now these blue eye Lucy's. Um, I don't know if I'll if I'll do any holdbacks with them. Um, the neat thing with them is. They're obviously blue eye Lucy's, but I have no idea what other genes are going to be in there. They could have cinnamon. Um, they're definitely pastel because the mom was super pastel. Um, but they could have cinnamon and they could have GHI in them as well. So, I mean, I could these these babies at the very least are Mojave Lesser pastel Mojave Lessers, um, and they could have GHI or cinnamon, and there's really no way to tell. But uh, the Mojave Lesters are beautiful because they're pretty much all white. They don't have the um, kind of the purple heads like the Super Mojaves do. And um, they maybe develop a little bit of yellowing. I, ha I had a Mojave Lesser adult female who had like a little bit of yellow speckling on her head and down her, down her spine. Um, but pretty much she's all white. Um, I do actually have a special Lesser adult female and she is just pure white. So if you're looking for... Uh, all white snakes, you definitely want to have lesser in the combo. Um, this boy or girl is definitely pretty cool looking. Um, so we have uh, a blue eye Lucy there with pastel at the very least. And if uh, somebody gets a chance to breed that, breed that snake out, they'll figure out whether or not it has GHI or cinnamon too. Alrighty, let's cut. This one, leaking everywhere. Alrighty. This is obviously just going to be a 
Blue Eye Lucy too. Same thing. No way of knowing what other genes are in there, um, but it's definitely <laughs> Blue Eye Lucy and Pastel. So at the very least, we have a Pastel Mojave Lesser. Uh, that's pretty good odds. Um, I have two Blue Eye Lucys in this clutch Whoop. out of five eggs, and um, you know neither parent was a super, was an actual full-blown Blue, Blue Eye Lucy. One was just Mojave, and one was just Lesser. Um, so it's pretty good odds. Now, what I was hoping was that I would hit a super cinnamon in this clutch too, because I thought it would be a really cool contrast to have these pretty all-white babies with these bright blue eyes, and then have a almost black baby with, uh, you know, black eyes. <clears throat> now, obviously, whichever, if there is one in here, it's going to be pastels, but also technically be a silver bullet. It wouldn't be a super cinnamon. Um, but there's two chances left. This one might be bad, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Um, so let's cut this one first. I'm glad three of them um, popped out on their own. I, I was hesitant to cut them because they were so early. Um, but now the fact that three of them popped out, I am sort of kind of okay with cutting these last two. Okay, you never, never want to cut too early. But now that three of them popped out, I am fairly confident that it's safe to do. This one, it looks like there's some pattern on it. Okay, let's see. Oop. Well, this one probably looks like a pewter. Definitely a pewter. I don't know what else is going on in there. It's hard to see with this one because it's still... I don't know if this wasn't ready to hatch yet. Definitely a pewter, but I don't know what else is going on there. I'm curious to see. It might be the same as the other one. Maybe it's a pewter lesser. Pewter Mojave. They have blue eyes, so I'm thinking it has to have one of the, the Lucy genes in there, but... Let me put him back too because he doesn't... He actually looks like I disrupted him in the middle of his sleep. He's like, what are you doing, dude? I'm still sleeping. Still sleeping. Still cooking. Still cooking in this egg. Um, this was the first clutch for either one of these snakes. So um, she laid really early in the season. So I'm happy, happy that uh, you know she'll be able to breed again, hopefully, early next year. Pretty sure this one's bad. I can almost tell by the consistency of the the, the goo that came out, but let's see. Yeah, it's a lot of goo. It's a lot of goo. Yep. That is bad. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know, um, this one may have just kind of, it looks like it was pretty well developed. Um, definitely uh, kind of went bad in the uh, egg. Let me, actually what I'll do here is I'll put this one aside and I'll show it to you guys. I'll put the other ones away since they're all, all good and I don't want to stress them out any more than we need to. So I'll put them back, or at least put them to the side and cover them up so they're not getting stressed out. And then I'll peel this egg open and kind of show you what what goes in, goes on inside there. All right. So um, you know this one is pretty well developed. I mean, it had to have gone. I would say, I bet you by the size of it, probably just died recently. Um, although it still has a ton of egg sac left in there. Um, you can see that. It's pretty pretty deformed though. The face is pretty deformed. I would have actually, I probably would have told you this was probably the super cinnamon right here actually. It's kinked up, kinked up pretty well too. If you can see the spine right there, that's actually pretty, pretty well kinked. Um, 
Never like to see that, but you know, it happens. I'm sure it happens to everybody. Um, I think this is probably the second stillborn one that I've had this year. So two out of, I mean, I have 12, six, two, two out of 18. So I had 16, 16 good ones so far. Um, two stillborns. This one was the only deformed one. Um, the other one was just stillborn, like it was perfectly fine. This one was completely kinked up though. I mean, the neck, if you can see that, I mean, that's what the neck looks like right there. It's completely wound up around itself. Um, and the spine itself is just terribly kinked up. So, um, you know, what causes that? That's hard to say. Um, <clears throat> you know, every, everybody else was, everybody else in clutch incubated properly and the last couple clutches were incubating good too. So it could have just been genetics. It could have been the super cinnamon. I have <clears throat> uh, read that super cinnamon can cause birth defects. And if that's the case, um, whatever ends up causing those birth defects could end up causing serious birth defects like this, which, you know, cause the snake to die um, before it's even hatched or born. So that's probably what happened here. Um, so that's sad. I hate seeing that, but I guess it's part of part of uh, breeding ball pythons. But um, we have four healthy, good-looking babies. Um, and let me open them up one more time so you can see them. And we got two blue eye Lucy's and two. What I'm thinking are um, pewter lessers or pewter Mojaves, something along those lines. Um, so these are my two, my two, my first two blue eye Lucy's for the year, um, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's uh, not great odds of hitting them out of just a, the five egg clutch. Um, but I did, so, you know, hitting these two beautiful little snakes here. And they have three genes each, because they're Mojave Lesser and Pastel, at the very least. Plus, they could have two hidden genes, um, either GHI or Cinnamon. Beautiful snakes. Uh, they will, um, you know, probably hatch out here in the next three or four days. And once they do that, I'll probably have a picture up on Instagram and then I will um, get them in their tubs and hopefully they're on food in the next couple weeks. So that is it for today's video. Thanks for stopping by and please remember to like and subscribe. See ya.